Happy last week of 2022. I'm finally changing my name. It doesn't make sense. Set up my new Notion template. last week of 2022 i figured i would take this day as just kind of like my prepping for 2022 i'm gonna do a 2022 oh prepping for 2023 i am gonna do a 2023 reset video where we go over all the goals and stuff like that but i figured it would be fun to kind of prep for a new year cleaning organizing grocery shopping all of that i also want to reorganize my office just kind of reset that room and just have like a new space for the new year and then i am finally changing my name with my bank so i have an appointment at 3 30 today hopefully they can change it i've seen a lot of mixed things so you can't do it in person you can do it in person you have to do it online and all these other things so fingers crossed that they let us do that but yeah i'm just gonna bring you guys along for everything that i do today by no means is this necessary don't think that you have to prep in any way for a new year honestly i would rather be laying on the couch watching tiktoks right now but i have things to get done so i'm just using the new year to get myself motivated to get the things done because i haven't i've been putting these things off for so long especially changing my last name with my bank so i'm tricking myself that i have to get it done before the new year regardless of what you do the last week of this year you should be proud of yourself because you made it through a whole nother year but yeah let's go ahead and get this day started first thing on our to list we have to go grocery shopping we have literally no groceries in our refrigerator or our pantry so it's time to stock up lavelle and i are also doing grocery shopping a little bit differently for the next couple of weeks just to see how we like it usually we grocery shop for like two weeks and go twice a month but we're gonna start shopping weekly and only buying groceries for the week and see if that helps us save any money because we notice that we are wasting a lot of food and we don't necessarily like doing that so we're gonna try this weekly grocery shopping thing and see how it works for us i do need to stop at fries to get a couple things that target doesn't have but for the most part i'm trying to shop at target now because the fries that we go to i just don't like it so okay i'm done rambling let's go to the store like no days Okay, groceries are put away. I realized that I didn't eat and it's already 12.06, so I'm gonna make some mini corn dogs in the oven. And while that's going, I'm going to work on something else on my to-do list, which is doing some decluttering on my electronics. I need to go through my external hard drives and get rid of old things, move things over to my big hard drive. I have this little hard drive and then I have, I don't know if you guys can see, but I have a big one back there. The big one is where I hold like everything the small one is like my temporary one where like all of my current videos are on here and like videos from the previous month are still on here but i do know it's been a while since i've done a declutter so i have a lot of videos on there that are ready to be moved over to the big one so we're gonna do that while the oven is preheating for my food but i'm gonna get everything plugged in i also want to go through like old memory cards just to make sure that nothing is left on there i think oh, i'm starting to see stars i'm starving oh my god this is so bad um what was i saying i don't even remember what i was saying <laughs> Everything is officially moved over to my big hard drive and then my hard drive just has the most recent footage and the most like recent video. I am going to start gathering all my stuff for my appointment. I have, have to get my marriage license, my social, my IDs all ready to go. It should be an easy process. The girl, the lady called me and confirmed my appointment and said that 
all of my cards will still work until I get my new ones in. So it should be an easy process. So fingers crossed that everything goes well. Okay, just got back from the bank. That was super freaking easy. It literally didn't need any of the paperwork that I filled out. I literally, I didn't need anything. It's just crazy because I've been putting it off all year honestly the past two years since we've been married and it literally took five minutes but the only thing that i couldn't get done today was i couldn't get my new cards shipped to me so i have to call them and tell them to mail out my cards to my address using my correct last name so that's what we're gonna do really quick just get it done get it crossed off our list officially this call will be monitored and recorded and your voice may be used please enter your debit card account number or user id hello thank you for calling have a wonderful rest of the day Thank you, you too. Happy New Year. Oh, okay, bye. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she said bye. <laughs> okay, so basically everything is kind of situated already, but the same problem that I've been having with all of my packages like Gymshark and Legion and all my supplement packages is happening with my bank. I guess they've been trying to mail me a bunch of like stuff lately and haven't been able to because my address or my name doesn't match just like all of my other issues. Lavelle brought me an Oreo. <laughs> so yeah, what we have to do is they're sending me a letter in the mail. It's gonna go to my parents' house. I have to fill it out, send it back, and they'll send me a new card and my name will be updated. So I literally thought it was just my packages that I've ordered recently, but literally it's everything. I can only imagine how many people have been sending me stuff and I haven't been getting anything because of my stupid last name. Like it is so dumb. Even the lady on the phone was like, it doesn't make sense. But we got the process started. Not done, but we got the process started i do need to call my car company my last name is still different with them it's about to be five o'clock and i honestly don't feel like sitting on hold so maybe i'll call them tomorrow during work but we need to see what else is left i'm gonna eat this cookie because it's like staring at me in the face <laughs> i definitely need to find another dentist because i'm gonna rot my teeth with how many oreos i've eaten <laughs> but anyways i got that checked off i need to work out so maybe i'll work out first and then do my office. Okay, so I'm gonna go get changed my workout. I can't show you guys my workouts just yet. That was kind of aggressive, sorry. <laughs> because a video is not ready yet. If you've been here a while, you know what it is. But I'm not gonna say what it is to build the suspense and the surprise. So if you wanna find out what that video is, definitely subscribe and come back. Sometime in January, early January, that video will go up. I'm being so mysterious and I know it's so annoying. I'm so sorry, but I have to keep some secrets from you guys. So I'm gonna go work out and then we'll come back and start on my office. All right, I'm back from my workout, all showered and ready to start on my office. I'm gonna show you guys what I wanna do and like my plan and stuff before we get started. So right now, this is how my office is set up. I have my desk over here in the corner. I have that chair there, mirror there, and then this section over here. This section has to stay over here because the shelves are in the wall, so I can't take that out. But I wanna put my desk over here and then move all of this over here. Really, because I wanna have my mirror closer to the window so that my lighting is better when I take pictures. And I don't know, I'm just kind of bored of this space. But I hope that it works so that I can have a new vibe for my office. Also, if you hear a little screaming in the background, ignore that, he's playing video games. <laughs> First thing I need to do is unplug everything so that I'm not dragging it across my floor. I'm gonna make a bed away. So I put the desk over there. My problem is I don't know if I like how close this is to each other. Probably gonna take some getting used to. But the mirror's over there now and then the chair. I'll probably move the chair more over this way because now I have all this space over here. Right, I picked up a little bit, tested my computer, make sure it still worked after messing with the cords. I'm still iffy about it. I moved the rug closer to the mirror so that like when I take pictures, you can kind of see the mirror. I don't really know if 
I'll keep it there. I might move it back to where it was like behind me. I think this is how it's gonna be for a while. I wanna change the artwork that's right there. I just don't like that. I think I'm gonna put this picture over there instead and maybe get rid of those two and then i just need to find somewhere for my calendar to go i think it's gonna go here in this corner and then i'm gonna get something else for this wall i'm thinking like inspirational quotes or like just cute office -y pictures that i can probably find on etsy but yeah i'm gonna sit on this for a while and see how i like it and go from there i don't know how i feel about it but We'll see. Okay, so the last thing on my to-do list is to set up my new Notion template. So you guys know I use Notion all the time. I use it mainly for my monthly goals and my social media stuff. And I love the way I set up my Notion, but I just feel like I've outgrown it and I want something new for the new year. I bought one from the Flourish Planner. I'll leave it linked down below if you guys are interested. It was only $20. Compared to the other Etsy ones, it was kind of more expensive, but you get a lot for $20 and I thought it was worth it. So we're gonna set that up and I think I'll be pretty much ready for 2023. I have done everything on my to-do list, done everything that I have been like avoiding getting done. I would say that I'm pretty set for the new year. Okay, so basically I kept pretty much everything the same. I love this quote that she already had on here so i kept it there over here my quick links i have the same setup for the most part my planner goals vision board ideal routines i moved my content planner from my other notion over here my books i moved over here i left the self-care because i think i'm gonna use that but i'm not sure kept the chores and then i put my travel planner and important things in my little quick links here i was confused about this little progress tracker thing but i figured out that it's like progress of the year so we're 99 percent done with the year 94 percent with the month 56 of the week and 92 of the day i thought that was super cute so i figured i would leave it there and then once 2023 hits i will change this and then i just updated the weather widget in the middle here i just changed the wording of the task and follow-ups i want to film my 2023 reset video create my vision board current priorities i went back and forth if i wanted to keep this here or not i think i might move my habit tracker over here or just leave this blank and just have more space to add to the important task area but for now i have my current priorities here which is vitamins daily growing my social media platform and new career opportunities i do have my yearly goals down here but i'm going to save that for my 2023 reset video and then over here i just changed up the clock widget that she had and added in some of my habits which is reading taking my vitamins posting to social media i don't plan on posting to social media every single day meaning tiktok or youtube um but i wanted it there just so that it's a habit on my homepage. uh working out protein shake and my nighttime skincare going into my planner i didn't really change anything here i just added in my own weekly goals and then just uh left everything else as is i didn't do anything with the vision boards i will take time later on to add to that ideal routines i did input all of my stuff so i did my typical morning routine that i would like to follow every day um my morning skincare and night skincare my afternoon is a little different because i'm pretty much working the entire day so i might just take that out all together i put in my evening routine and i did my workout routine and i did add pages to that so monday for my glute and hamstring day i'm gonna add in like a little grid to get like an in-depth look into each workout but i will do that later i went ahead and moved over my content planner that was in my previous notion template over here so i just have all of my upcoming youtube videos and all my upcoming tiktoks i copied over all of my books i kept part of her template where it says like reading goals how many books that i've read and then this is just from my previous template so all the books that i'm that i've read and all the ones that i'm reading self-care i'm not sure if i want to use that so I, that is just empty with the template moving on to chores i didn't fill this one in but i'm definitely going to use that i love that travel planner i pulled this from my other notion template it just has everything that i have on my packing list and then an itinerary template as well as like just some inspo pictures of course i put new york because that is where i want to go <laughs> important things i have just like different things that i need to keep track of so that is my notion for 2023 i really like this one because i feel like i don't have to click on a lot of pages like i did with my last notion and it's just all kind of just in one place every page connects to another and so on and so on so i'm excited to start using this and continuing just to make it as perfect as possible my goal is to just make sure that i am being intentional with actually coming in here and using this every day because 
I feel like it would really help me stay on track with everything. That's going to be it for my prepping for 2023 video. Like I mentioned earlier, I am doing a separate 2023 reset goal video. We're going to go over all my 2022 goals and just recap on the entire year. If you haven't already, make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any of my videos. I hope you guys have a really fun and safe new year. And I will see you guys in my next video. Now I'm picking up, now I'm picking up By the cottage, you close, yeah